Here we're going to look at the identity property of zero and the additive inverse property. So first of all, the identity property of zero simply says that if you are taking a number, and I'm just using the letter A to represent any number, and you add zero to it, well, you just get that original number back again, right? We all we all know that, right? So five plus zero is still five, right? Zero plus six is still six. Okay, so um, we're kind of stating the obvious here, but we're putting it in a formal property um, because we will be able to use this as we start to get into some formal algebra. All right. We call the number zero the additive identity uh, because it gives us back the number we added it to. All right. And then going along with this is the additive inverse property. Okay, so the additive inverse property says that for any number that you have, it has an inverse. And in the case of um, addition, um, that inverse is its opposite, right, or its negative. So that when you add those together, it gives you the additive identity back. So taking a number plus its inverse gives you zero, and taking um, a negative number plus its inverse, which would be a positive number, also gives you zero, the additive identity. Okay. All right, so let's put uh, these properties into practice here. So we want to simplify this, right? And so if we can collapse things down into fewer terms, we want to. Um, so first of all, we have 3x plus negative 3x. Well, we just said that an additive inverse um, is just the opposite. So I have 3x and I'm adding the opposite of 3x. Well, I know putting those together should give me 0. Okay, so I have negative 7 plus 0 plus 5. So there I was using the additive inverse property. Now I have negative 7 plus 0. All right, well, that kind of looks like the identity property of zero, which says if I'm taking negative seven plus zero, that is just the same as negative seven. And then finally, negative seven plus five, we can do that. That gives us negative two. Okay. So again, this is a situation where I don't necessarily need you to, you know, even say out loud the properties you're using when you take each step, but it's important that we lay a a nice foundation um, that gives us permission to do these things. So, um, you know, what would I want to see in terms of work in a problem like this? Well, I basically just want to see you do this. Well, negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2, and 3x plus negative 3x is 0. Okay, so the answer is negative 2. So I don't need to show you to show quite the detail I did here, but it's important that you understand uh, where the steps that I did come from.